Imagine you live in a high security mansion. Inside it are multiple vaults. Think of them like servers that contain sensitive stuff. But here's the rule. No outsider gets direct access to the vaults. Instead, there's one well-guarded front office, the jump server. Anyone who wants to access a vault must first report to this front office, pass tight security checks, and only then can they go deeper into the mansion. That in a nutshell is a jump server. A jump server is a special purpose system used to access and manage devices in a separate secure network. It acts as a bridge or kind of a hopping point between the user's device and the target servers or systems. This is also called a segmentation strategy, which is actually part of good network architecture. Let's say you're an IT admin for a top secret government agency. Your internal servers are tucked away in a high security internal network that the internet just can't touch directly. Because duh, it's top secret. You work from home. You first connect to the jump server which lives in a DMZ or demilitarized zone. A zone that's halfway between the internet and the internal network. The jump server verifies who you are, logs everything you do, and then lets you hop into the internal network. No one, not even the president, can access the internal network directly without going through the jump server. Only authorized users get to jump in. Everything you do on the jump server is logged. So if you mess up or do something shady, there's a breadcrumb trail. It separates the high risk zone, which is the internet, from the low risk zone, which is the internal servers. Internal systems are never directly exposed to the outside world, only the jump box is. So, a jump server is basically a hardened Linux server with SSH access only, or sometimes it's a Windows server that you connect to using RDP, which is Remote Desktop Protocol, and you might hear the term Bastion Host, especially on cloud platforms like AWS. Oh, and here's a fun fact. In AWS, a Bastion host is really just a jump server in the cloud, but with a fancier name and that whole pay-as-you-go attitude. Imagine you want to visit a secure research facility, which is like an internal network, but you can't just walk in directly. First, you have to arrive at this special high security airport lounge. That's your jump server. Here's what happens. You show your ID, which is like authentication. Your baggage gets scanned, so that's your security policies. You're monitored by CCTV, which is basically activity logging. And finally, you're escorted to the facility, which means you use RDP or SSH to get to the internal server. No random person can just book a cab to the research facility. The lounge is honestly the only way in. Without it, you'd be letting people connect directly to sensitive servers. That's like letting delivery guys walk straight into your master bedroom with muddy shoes. This opens the door to unauthorized access, brute force attacks, and, well, no traceability of who did what. Jump servers create a controlled entry point. Think of it like installing a metal detector between your front door and your family's jewelry box. Harden the operating system, disable unused services, install patches, use multi-factor authentication. Passwords are okay, but honestly, MFA is better. Log everything, it's your black box in case something goes boom. Restrict outbound access, the jump server shouldn't be used to surf cat videos. Limit access hours. Nobody should be accessing your internal network at 2 a.m. unless it's Batman. A jump server is a secure middleman. It logs and controls admin access and keeps the internal network hidden from outsiders. These are absolutely essential in secure environments like banks, cloud setups, and government agencies. In short, a jump server is like a bouncer at an exclusive club. It checks who you are, monitors what you're doing, and only lets the right people into the VIP area. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and happy learning until we meet next time to learn about another topic.